Good evening everybody, welcome to the channel. I have here the largest rack I believe I've ever seen. This is actually for my wife's TW200. This is a 2021 model Yamaha TW200. This is the rear cargo rack. Look how huge this thing is. And this is the front cargo rack that goes on the front triple clamps up there. I believe I haven't checked it out yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and install these. It'll be a real quick, simple video, simple install. But I'll put a link below to cycleracks.com where you can check these out. This thing is heavy built like crazy. And the cool part about this rack is, it's not just because it's huge to hard haul cargo, but also because of the way it surrounds the outside of the bike, like so is how it's kind of going to mount. All this here is going to protect the bike if you crash, fall over uh, from tearing your bike up. This rack is being so big is going to protect it. And this here, even from a rear collision or something, being so strong. So we just got to remove a couple bolts on this seat. This slides down there and bolts to another couple bolt patterns. And then this here goes up on the front triple clamps and we'll bolt it on. Won't take no time at all. Let's get started. Okay, so the first part we're gonna do is remove some bolts under the seat. There's actually one right here you can see. And the same way on the other side, that will take the seat off so we can get to the two bolts that's right up here is where the cycle racks is gonna bolt to. All right, once we get them bolts removed, we can just pull the seat back and up right off of there. Now what we have here is these two 10 millimeter bolts up here on top that we'll take off. Okay, then here on the side, on both sides, we're gonna take this top bolt loose right here and remove it. This is the mount for your rear passenger foot peg. If you have them on there, if you don't, there'll be a place here to bolt it on. Okay, now we take our rack and you can see that these bolts here, on here there's some taped on bolts. That's the bolt that is gonna replace the one that we just took out. It's actually a little bit longer. Okay, now here on the top, on these two holes, we'll go ahead and put in our original OEM bolts back in here, but don't tighten them up yet. Just put them in there. We have room to move around. Okay, now on this side, we're gonna put this bolt in here. I believe this should go on the outside instead of behind this. And we'll go ahead and take this one and just snug it in, not tighten it all the way yet. And we'll put the other one on the other side. Okay, now we'll go ahead and tighten all four bolts to the top two 10 millimeters and these on the side, which are 13 millimeter. Okay, that's the rear rack. We'll go ahead and stick the seat back on with the two 10 millimeter bolts here and then we'll do the front rack. Okay, so on the front of the bike, we're gonna remove this top triple clamp bolt, which is a 10 millimeter. And we're gonna move this on the bottom triple clamp. We're gonna remove the top bolt here, which is a 12 millimeter on both sides. Okay, now our rack is gonna go on just like this. We'll put the top triple clamp in, bolt in first. And we'll do the same on this side. And then we'll put our bottom bolts back in. Okay guys, that's it for the install. All I gotta do now is torque these bolts, top and bottom. I'll find out what the specs are and torque those. And that's the install of the rear cycle racks and the front cycle racks for the TW200. I believe these racks here fit any of the TW200s because I don't think they've changed anything through the year. So should be an easy fit on any of the Yamaha TW200s. This is a 2021. And I'll show you a picture as soon as I get off here. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like finished. Thank you guys for watching. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Catch y'all on the next one. Right on.